bitch, I got a bro. Fuck it back, bitch, on my couch, yeah. Please do not sit on my couch, yeah. Plus, not all of her mouth. Plus, not all of her mouth. What's good, YouTube? But SPG back with another banger video. And here today, you guys click on this video for a reason. We're talking about Matthew, Ultra and Goku. But before we get into that, you feel me? Go watch my other videos. Go like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? We're going up, bro. I got mad content for you guys to watch. Like, dang, like support the boy. You feel me? But let's get back to this conversation. So Ultra Instant Goku, Master Ultra Instant Goku. Can't really expect this dude during the 30th anniversary. Like, I think it's very possible and it's plausible that we can expect Ultra Instant Goku to come down the 30th anniversary. But is it probable? Like, like it's very probable, but is it like is it plausible? Like, what like like make it make sense to me, you feel me? Um, because mind you. We actually just got LF Gogeta Blue and LF Full Power Broly. Literally. And before that, you know who came out? The biggest trap band of 2020. All Chains of Goku, along with Jiren, along with Dispo, and along with Top or Tobo. You feel me? So, Legends can do that. Like, we'll release three LFs within the span of like three weeks of each other. What, make, what, what stops them from doing that with. Of at left in the future, you feel me? Cause mind you, not just this is the 24th, it's almost Christmas. This is their celebration all the way to the new years, you feel me? Does look it doesn't look like we're getting these goodie bags, um, you know, events or the shop, whatever. Tickets that we used to have, uh doesn't look like that's returning anytime soon, you feel me? Because if that did, oh that would be overpowered because there's a lot of LFs in this game now, and you know, people will really be getting their books worth of that, you feel me? But um, going to 2021 though, like wh what's happening? What's happening after this? Like what is next? What is going to be next is definitely might be a dry season. You feel me? January, it's new year, new month. But what are they going to release in that month? Because mind you, after this, there's still going to be more banners coming out. They, these bands leave on the 24th and also it's a um, Goku banner at least like on the 12th of January. So they still have Zenkai to play now. They still have more banners to come out with. But what's really coming out 2021? First month, literally. What's, what's going to come out of the first month of 2021? Nobody knows. Some people are speculating that actually is Zenkai on um, Broly, the purple one. The first, you know, Zenkai on um, Broly that came out for the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie last year, literally. The Gawant, the king of PvP. When he was reigning champ of PvP, he might get a Zenkai. And that, that's a good way to actually start off with 2021. Give that dude a Zenkai. He got this blue over here and he got Gogeta blue. That's perfect, bro. That's legitimately perfect. But after that, what's next? Like, legitimately, what's next? Because you got January. You got February. February, Valentine's Day. February might be like a female warrior related type of month. Because, mind you, wasn't the last time females actually got above besides what? 18, getting his, 18 getting Zenkai. 21, Kefla. What is like a very significant buff to a female warrior team that we can actually say? Or, you know, actually puts females up there. I can remember. I can't honestly remember. I definitely know you guys can remember too. Imagine we got an LF female warrior. Like, what? Imagine. That's for February. It'll be something different because it's a, it's a whole time new year. New year, new legends. You feel me? That's how that's how it should be going. You feel me? But after February, January, February, March. What's, in, what's happening in March? What's happening in April? What's happening in May? What's happening in June? June, July. From May, late May to June, July. That's their 30, 30 anniversary. Third year. I know. Time goes by fast. Fast. Mind you, they still have so many characters that haven't even touched on yet. So, would they really honestly go to the Ultra Instant Goku Master 30th anniversary? Would they really do that? I don't, th I don't think they would do that. I would honestly think they would put him to the same way they did for this Ultra Instant Goku because release him around Thanksgiving, Black Friday, or like Christmas, just like Gogeta Blue. And that love Broly. But besides UI, Goku, who, like, what other hype units can they really, you know, give us as, like, filler months? You feel me? Because, mind you, UST banners are gone still. It doesn't look like USTs are ever coming back. We're going to keep us continuing to get Legends Rise. And we're going to keep on continuing to get our um, Legends All Star banners. So, what what is the next Legends All Star banner? What is What can be possibly next? You feel me? Because. Now these guys have skipped all around. They have been turning the power where they went back to the movie. Would they go back and concentrate on the order of the anime? If they did that, 
We should be getting Garlic Jr. We should be getting Mecha Frieza, King Cold. Um, just units like that. Like, like where have those people been? Like, movie units like Hachiak. What's Hachiak, bro? Where is he at, bro? Like, legitimately because it's been not stated or confirmed, but it looks like all Chains and Goku is going to be coming out for Dokkan. For their 68 anniversary, but not global 68 anniversary, JP's. Based on the truth video um, of how Ultra Instant Goku was a figure that was leaked. And it was the same coincidence and the same thing applied to Gogeta Blue. Last year for the 50th anniversary, when there was a Gogeta Blue figure. And soon after, JP got Gogeta Blue and Vegeta Blue for the anniversary units, right? So, it looks like maybe. We're not going to say it's confirmed, but like, it looks like maybe. If Ultra Instant Goku is coming out for Dokkan for their 60th anniversary... What stops Legends from trying to be on top? What really stops Legends, really? Because, mind you, isn't JP's, like, anniversary going to be, like, in February? Like, sometime around there? Like, what is really stopping Legends from actually trying to overcome Dokkan for, like, a, like the second time in their lifespan, I guess? Because I think they actually went past Do um, Dokkan first anniversary with Super Vegito. That's when they actually surprised Dokkan, I think. But now... If Dokkan's getting UI Goku mastered, a standalone master UI Goku, what's Legends supposed to do? Because mind you, these games push each other to go beyond the limits. These games push each other to go plus ultra. Literally. Like, this is how the games work. They they bounce off each other, bro. You feel me? One one game I get this, another game I get this. You feel me? Literally. Like, it, it, that's how it works. Like, these guys are competing against each other. Make, they make each other better. That's the whole process. This, that, 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 that's their relationship. People... People be trying to compare the game saying, oh, Legends is better than no, Dokkan is better. Nah, bro. They're two different, complete, completely different games. One's PvP based and one's just PvE, like literally. One's competitive and one's... I don't even consider Dokkan competitive, not in the slightest. Oh, does it come out with a PvP mode? No, but that's not the... That, but like, no, they're not doing that because literally Legends was made based off people saying they wanted PvP and Dokkan. I'm like, what? Like, what is he saying? So like I said... You are Goku coming to Dokkan. Maybe. Legends. It's a possibility. But not for third year. Maybe for maybe for Christmas. By Friday. Maybe fourth year. Imagine they push him all the way back to fourth anniversary. Mind you. There's not a lot like there's like so there's like so much content they can work with in Dragon Ball Legends. Especially if there's, if the anime comes back. They can work on they can adapt um legends from um legend characters from heroes. They can adapt more from the movies because there's a lot of movie characters still having to dress. They can give us side characters where pretty much DC, you know, at least A tier above S, like S tier, your solid units like Goku Black, like, you know, Revival Cell, Second Life Cell. Like, if they make units like that, I guarantee you Legends is going to be a good spot for a very, very long time. It won't be ending up looking like a Naruto Blaze. And like, no, bro. Like, it's not, it's, that's not happening because this is Dragon Ball, bro. They have too much content, bro. This, this, too. Like, Legends, if our Legends just shut down within, like, three years, it's just, like, it's, I don't know. I, I, don't, I can't think about that because, mind you, this game is draggable. You guys got content, bro. As long as these guys keep on introducing new modes, new, new like, new gameplay, anything that's new make, that makes the game innovative, this game is going to be lasting a very long time. And will last a long time even after Master Ultra S and Goku is released. Because, mind you, these guys can release other guys' destruction. These guys can, can literally release, release Zeno. If they really want to end this game, bro, the last unit they should be making is Zeno. Literally, Zeno. Like, everybody got a Zeno. Imagine, imagine PvP with Zeno in it. Like, legitimately, until they get to that point, Zeno, Grand Priest, Angels, that just ain't going down for a very long time, bro. Like, it's going to be lasting a very long time out here. Go out Goku. 30th anniversary, 40th anniversary. No matter what time it comes out, you he'll he push the game along. You continue. Made this game hype because you are Goku is gonna be selling, and mind you, legends they, like they have been keeping certain mechanics on the wraps. For example, transforming Super Saiyan Blue units. Please inform me what transforming Super Saiyan Blue unit do we actually have? Let me guess, not one, right? We already, we already have standalone LS for Gogeta Blue, Vegeta Blue, but what ha what hap like what happens to what a, a transforming? Legendary Fantasy of Vegito Blue and Transforming Legendary Fantasy of Gogeta Blue. Literally. Think about it. What happens? They have, they have, 
think like Leipzig can recycle content, bro. There's certain things I want to back on because literally it, it's, it's content. Like it allows lot, them to push the game through. You feel me? That's what that's what they're doing. You feel me? That's really. Or they could release go go do SJ four just complete fusions. And after that, then they could go to that whole entire mechanic, right? How about a uh, transformer ultra into Goku? Dokkan did it, right? Transforming it, it, isn't UI Goku on transformation boost on Dogon? Can they give UI Goku transformation in Dragon Ball? Just yes, they definitely can. They definitely can, and it definitely will. It's going to happen, bro. These LFs will all get Zenkai. It's like, it's going to happen. Literally, by, by the time it's like 50th anniversary, who's going to have a Zenkai by that time? What, Vegito, Vegito Blue? Maybe UI Goku? Maybe UI Goku? Like, what, what? these guys will have Zenkais, bro. LFs are going to be going crazy. There's going to be new modes. This game is going to change. I just have to understand, like, what thing, like, well, enter in 2021. Anything these guys are going to keep everything the same the way it is right now is sorely mistaken. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you better stay woke right now because I'm telling you right now, I ain't, I ain't happening, bro. These guys are going to change it up, bro. I'm telling you, maybe a new a whole new entire rarity. Imagine units actually fused together. Huh? Like, imagine. Imagine. We don't have, we have, we don't, we're not full power Jiren. We don't have none of these other hype units, bro. There's so many hype units that can draw from you, feel me? Even from OG Dragon Ball, bro. There's many units that people are a fan of from back in the days. And literally, they will, they will sell. They will definitely sell. Imagine we got a new Corbo with giant apes. Great apes. Like, what? Imagine. That just has so much to work with, bro. It's, it's crazy. But you are Goku, bro. Master, you are Goku. When, when, when would he become, really? If you realistically think about it. These guys have to change the whole entire... What the hell? Did you I just drew. Okay, I'm gonna report him. But um, let this literally change the way PvP works and the whole entire PvP gameplay before Archer Instinct sign Archer Instinct Omen Goku came out. Literally before it signed, not Master Ultra Instinct Goku. Before Archer Instinct sign Goku. So imagine, imagine you know who can dodge everything, who can attack by, like everything. Like who's who's literally just perfect, perfection, like at the, beyond the level of gods, bro. At a level which gods, like gods of destruction, have have, have like difficulty obtaining. And maybe those god, this those same god of destruction is even obtain onto instinct. There's no about it from wasting the angels. So what happens if you are Goku, a Saiyan with white hair, who's on Saiyan team, Gaki, all these teams, who's been, uh, whose whole entire kit? It's gonna be at least five pages long, at least a whole college essay, you feel me? What's gonna happen then? He's gonna change the meta, bro. You really see him now. This is him third year. He's breaking the meta, bro. Everything that I just did about Java Legends, PvP, even PvE, even P Bro, he will be the cheat code for PvE, bro. Even though PvP PvE sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. In Java Legends. At the end of the day, at the end of the day. Master Ultra Instant Goku is going to be something else. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be definitely something else. So, that's literally two days we can't really expect them on. Actually, three. And these guys really want to push him back. Really want to push him back. to wait for, you know, a level cap increase, blah this, blah that, whatever. It's even 30 anniversary we can expect this, dude. Can we expect them earlier? What's going to happen on Saiyan Day? Remember, Saiyan Day, Goku Day? Oh, what's going to happen that day, huh? Could they, could they release him during that? Yeah, Goku Day. You got Saiyan Day. You got um, the 30th anniversary. You got Black Friday. You got Christmas. You got New Year's. And after that, you got 40th anniversary. Or you got, or like, um, you know, Saiyan Day, Goku Day for the fourth year. Within the fourth year of Dragon Ball Legends. Literally. Like, all times of Goku can't come, can't come out anytime. But trust me, he ain't coming out anytime soon. Not right now. Maybe 30th anniversary. But before that, we still need our boy Gogeta SJ4. I'm going to keep on saying it. I'm going to keep on saying it to the end, end of the day. Bro, we need our boy Super Saiyan for Gogeta. These guys have done everything like little teams, like movies. They've done powerful opponent. They've done fusions. They've done scenes. Bro, show another disconnect there. Wow. Wow. PvP up here is just down bad. These people are just petty, huh? 
reporting his I'm reporting his ass too on dogs. But bro, I'm telling you. But you SSJ4 comes out, you gotta go get guns after. Perfect selling. They're selling, bro. Like literally, isn't Legends right now like top grossing in like nine countries? Is that top grossing nine countries with uh LF Gogeta Blue and the LF Full Power Broly? Imagine an autistic Goku who's who's fully mastered it, right? Right, right, right. And the graphics and the gameplay of Dragon Legends. You're telling me these guys would not go all out? Is, is, is that what you're trying to tell me? Because no, that's not what you're trying to tell me, bro. Stop. Stop it. I'm telling you guys to stop it, bro. Like, guys got to think clearly. Yo, Goku, bro, is a prize. He is a prize. This Omen Goku was a prize to, like, get to. But when he died, when Master Ultra go, like, when his big brother come out, ooh, stay on the watch out. You feel me? Stay on the lookout because, mind you, he's breaking the game. He's going to break everything we understand. Like, later, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Until we get more units, that's what's going to happen. Like, literally, like, so many units can, these guys can't dress, like, before you Go comes out. Trust me, there's going to be filler banners before this guy comes out. There's going to be a whole lot of filler banners. There's going to be a whole lot of trap banners. The trap banner for LF Gogeta Blue and Broly was literally Yuya Goku himself. Sign. So imagine before the actual Master Archer of Goku comes. Well, what, what would be his bait? His bait should le legitimately be Super Saiyan 4, you know, Gogeta. <laughs> like, it literally should, right? Should it not? Like, that really makes sense. You go from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to a Master Yuya Goku and for Power Jiren. Oh, my God. Bro, and we're missing like Ele Evolution Blue Vegeta. We're missing, um, you know, Golden Freezer from the Tournament Power. Bro, so many Tournament Power units. Angel 7, every P17. Where's he at? Like, bro, I'm telling you, like, the minute they start releasing more Tournament Power units, they actually buff like Rival Universe and all that, just know UI Goku's coming. Toshi said it himself. They gave little hints of, as to what LF might be coming. With, um, you know, the little buffs that these characters that they already released are given. They literally, like, when they gave out, you know, Great Sam and 1 and 2, movie buff, um, you know, Metal Cooler. They gave Super Saiyan Vegeta, the purple one from the, um, you know, Cooler movie, Metal Cooler movie, right? They all hinted at, um, Gogeta Blue and LF, um, for Burley. Especially when that quotation came out, that quote on their Twitter came out. Like, get your jacket's gonna be cold. That was literally, they literally foreshadowed it. And with V-Jump leaks... That gave us the that, that told us that freeze was coming out as well, bro. They literally told us that. I love I love Gogeta Blue and I love Broly coming, bro. Well, nobody knew I love Broly was coming, but we just knew like, oh, Gogeta's coming, bro. We, we, we all knew, bro. Oh, four for two. Damn, you guys suck. Damn, I got people up here drawing. I got people up here just doing some. Oh, I no, I, 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 it'd be like that, bro. It'd be like that, but you guys, you guys. You are Goku might just come out 30 anniversary. It might come out the next end of next year, 2021. And mind you, we're like six days away. No, we're seven days away from the new year. Seven days. Within the week, start counting down that year. You guys wanna you might you guys really might want to save Chrono Crystals for like these upcoming months. Because mind you, there's gonna be a whole lot of tribe banners. They're gonna release something for Saiyan Day. They're gonna release something for Valentine's Day. They're gonna release some something for one these major months, these major events. And it might just be Massive Archer Instinct Goku.